The IRS is asking a wounded veteran from Michigan to pay $62,000 in income taxes on the federal government's cancellation of his student loans. First Lieutenant Will Mazarski served two tours in Afghanistan that left him with a traumatic brain injury, post-traumatic stress disorder and hearing loss. The federal government canceled $223,000 in student loan debt after deeming him totally and permanently disabled. The 47-year-old veteran, who said the debt is largely attributed to his law degree, told the Lansing State Journal that the ERS notice surprised him. One part of government says, we recognize your service, we recognize your inability to work, Mazarski said. The other branch says, give us your blood. Well, the U.S. Army already took a lot of my blood. Michigan State University's low-income tax clinic has agreed to take on the issue. Joshua Weiss, a law professor from the clinic, said the tax in Mazarski's case isn't logical. If an individual has been deemed disabled and unable to pay their student loans, it seems incredible that they wouldn't also be deemed unable to pay the taxes on the forgiveness of those same student loans, Weiss said. Weiss said the IRS rejected an offer to pay a lower amount and the clinic is appealing the decision, which may take months. He said the clinic is first working with the federal government because Michigan taxes are based on federal decisions about income. Mazarski said he's also turned to his state and congressional representatives about the issue. Republican State Senator Rick Jones said Thursday he's drafting a bill that would exempt loan forgiveness for wounded vets under state law. The bill likely wouldn't help Mazarski because it won't be retroactive, but the veteran said he'll be glad to see the legislation passed. Copyright 2017, Chicago Tribune Internal Revenue Service Michigan State University Buy Tabula's sponsored links from around the web Flight prices you're not allowed to see SABE70.com Hitler's final bunker discovered, wait till you see inside Trent Chesler Cop finds baby in dumpster, but 25 years later, this happened LifeDaily.com The ultimate hotel finder TripsInsider.com if you don't want to be robbed, everyone should have one of these. Track Bravo. Video, the race to create a flying taxi heats up. Reuters TV. Man gets 14 years in prison for Northern Indiana Library fire. Aaron Shock prosecutors say they never admitted misleading judge. Crane operator fatally crushed by falling metal in Milwaukee.